Yes. Good evening. <laughs> we um, were a few minutes late because we have um, honeybees in our living room. Lots of them. Yeah, they were swarming and yeah, so we're, we get to go home and um, remove bees. Fortunately, I talked to a beekeeper and same suggestion Jan has, vacuum cleaner. Yep, shut that. So, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had uh, our front door had a, has a screen door, but we had the screen out because our cat, he was old and he, for, so he could come and go. We, we had it so he could come and go. Well, he's gone. Um, last week we finally had to put him down, but uh, the uh, door is still open. So I suspect that the bees were just coming around trying to find a new place and they said, ooh, look at that. <laughs> Not that I could see. You know, we've got wasps all around, but that's another problem. So, so yeah, we were wondering if they came in because they, we had all the flowers in the house. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, could have been. Could have been. Close the door. Yeah. Things that make you go, hmm. A hurtful act is the transference to others of the degradation which we bear in ourselves. Hmm. See? There you go. Hmm. Uh, it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. The greatest pleasure I have known is to do a good action by stealth and to have it found out by accident. I'm not sure about this one, but chaos often breeds life when order breeds habit. I think that's true, but yeah, yeah. That, that is sometimes true. That is sometimes true. Lots of things going on this month. Um, the Holistic Chamber of Commerce meeting on Tuesday, essential oils on Tuesday, mind shifters on Wednesday, Lotus Group on Friday, uh, Angelic, um, it's not Merkaba, it's something, you pronounce it some, another way. Merkaba. Merkaba. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's different than Merkaba, but I always pronounce it Merkaba. But anyway, so Merkaba, uh, Earth Healing also, and um, Voices from Beyond on Saturday. So, lots of stuff going on this week. Next Sunday is... Oh, well, next Sunday, of course, is surviving the zombie apocalypse. So, be there or be square. Zombies welcome. Zombies, mo zombies are welcome. We suspect that uh, if, if anything about the Sunday service and has zombies in it, um, we'll get more hits. So, people are probably going to, what? What is this? Oh, I'm sure. I have, I have no doubt. We, we have no doubt of that, yeah. Uh, I, we went shopping on Sunday, so we have uh, some of our um, weapons of choice. So we'll be set. Um, all the toilets in New York City's, in New York's police stations have been stolen. The police have nothing to go on. It's a groaner. I got a job at a bakery because I needed dough. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. Haunted French pancakes give me the creeps. Actually, it's crepes, but pronounced creeps. But. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, during the last days of the American West, many herds of wild horses roamed the plains. These beautiful animals were shrewd and very fast. It took a lot of skill to catch one because at the hot, slightest sign of danger, the stallions would lead the herd to safety. The men who matched wits against these animals noticed an odd trait. When startled, wild horses jerked their tails high and then broke off into a fast gallop. Consequently, cowboys spread stories about these untamed animals, and soon any person or vehicle they got off to a fast start was said to have hightailed it down the road. Now you know. Now you know. <coughs> See, I told you, you can learn stuff in church. 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 Um, with just one shock, an electric eel produces enough energy to light up every room in an average size three bedroom home. Let's go get some eels. And finally, we have um, 
Will Rogers. Always drink upstream from the herd. If you find, in a ho find yourself in a hole, stop digging. <laughs> the quickest way to double your money is, of course, to fold it and put it back in your wallet. There are three kinds of men, the ones that learn by reading, the few who learn by observation, and the rest of them who have to pee on the electric fence and find out for themselves. <laughs> I've never tried that, although I did have horses for a long time and know a lot about electric fences. So. Well, Mythbusters challenged that. Which did they? Did they? Yeah. Oh, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> go to Mythbusters and find out what they did. So. I Let's spit on one once. It hurt. Did you really? Yes, I did. I was a little kid and I thought, smack me in my mouth. Wow. So it's not a myth. It works. Okay. Do not spit on an electric fence. We have first-hand evidence right here that it does hurt. So don't do it. Let's sing a song. Oh.